Hello, I'm Falag and today we are going to be wiping the floors with aliens. Hey, hi, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Mac Build Showcase. Today we are going to be talking about the Valkyrie. Uh, there is more than one Valkyrie build I use, so we are going to be talking about Valkyrie for more than one episode. And today, first of all, we are going to be talking about my uh, tanky-ish Valkyrie build uh, that is uh, basically a close combat skirmisher whose job is to get close to the enemy, screw up the ranks, make them uh, you know, scatter, scuttle around and disrupt uh, uh, with the flamethrowers, power fists and so on. And, uh, well, you want to get uh, the armor that has a lot of mobility on you because this uh, Valkyrie is going to move a lot. But let's talk perk first and then tactics. First of all, we need the light them up. Of course, light them up allows us to shoot twice if we haven't moved before. That's normal for Valkyrie. Next on, we want automated threat assessment. Why? It gives you half a point of damage reduction and you are going to be in the enemy face most of the time, so you want that damage reduction. And 15 defense, right, on Overwatch before you fire. So er first enemy that fires upon you has minus 15 to its aim. And then... Uh, you actually uh, fire the overwatch, but uh, pay, pay heed when the enemy moves. So if the enemy j uh, he, he just shoots you, you still get fee plus 15 defense, right? Until he tries to move and you actually fire that overwatch, you get the plus 15 defense. And uh, that's going to be very good for you because uh, the Valkyrie uh, used like this in this build is going to be all the time in the midst of the enemies. So we are going to basically go for a flank, shoot them, burn them with a flamethrower and then they are going to stand there thinking whether they want to run away and get shot in the face or whether they want to shoot you and miss. And... That means you want rapid reaction because that allows you multiple overwatch fires. There is an interesting knack, by the way. If you get another overwatch after the first overwatch, you still get the plus 15 defense. I don't know if it's a bug or something. I may actually be even wrong and it's not happen it and it may not be happening, but I'm pretty sure that it is. So uh, with rapid reaction, you get uh, more than one overwatch and that means you get uh, probably maybe uh, more than one plus 15 defense bonus. In either case, uh, when you get in the midst of the enemy and they all try to run away, it's good to shoot them more than once. You can take reactive targeting sensors, however, it has uh, a very important problem. First of all, if you somebody fires at you, you fire back, even and that means you're wasting your overwatch, and that means you're wasting your defense bonus, so don't. And platform stability is not going to work, because you're going to be moving all the time, so uh, r rapid reaction is the thing you want especially up close and you are going to be up close now next on rain lock and load is actually not that important for that build it isn't because uh, we are going to be using flamethrowers and power fists more than our cannon so all is well and uh, this is a choice for you whether you prefer a shredder ammo or a hit ammo if you are facing if you think you are going to be needing hit ammo more than take hit ammo and the uh, shredder is uh, basically the same situation the difference between them is that hit ammo is of course increasing damage against mechanical targets and mechanical targets only like seekers sectopods mectoids and so on while shredder ammo basically means that your following shots whatever it may be is going to deal additional damage pain short so, uh, I prefer to take Shredder ammo myself for this build because it's uh, more multitasking than just hit. Uh, hit is too narrow for my liking for this build and you are going to be doing great damage with the cannon in any case. So, you're gonna be fine with Shredder, I think. Now, next on, you need the damage control because when this unit takes damage, and it will, it's going to get uh, 1.5 damage reduction for the next two turns. So, that's two points of damage reduction already with the automated threat assessment. There we go. And next on we are taking repair servos because uh, when we get hit, we repair some of the damage, which is fucking important because you are going to be far away from the medical and engineer with an arc thrower to fix you up. And last but not least, we need the absorption fields because it reduces most incoming damage to this unit uh, by a 40%. How can this possibly be better? Cannot. Okay, so now let's talk about tactics. Uh, what, uh, what you want with this unit is uh, you want it to get uh, close to the enemy. As I said before, you want to get in between the enemy ranks. Then 
you go into one for all that gives you a point of damage reduction altogether you get three points of damage reduction and minus 40 percent of damage right and you get uh, an overwatch that gives you 15 defense making it more difficult to hit you and then two more overwatches and now the enemies have no choice they have to either shoot you and probably miss or try to run away when you will kill them right so that's uh, one way how to use this guy. The other way, you get close, you uh, and the next turn, when the enemies are still near you, you can just shoot them once, and then flame you with a flamethrower, or punch them in the face, or uh, go into one for all and toss a proximity mine. So when they run away, they explode and get shot with an Overwatch because uh, fuck them. So basically, this is the guy that uh, is going to be right in the enemy face. And he's going to be basically throwing shit at them from one for all. But remember that you can't power fist and flamethrower while still remaining in one for all. Because, uh, well, quite frankly, they break the one for all. Only the things that are on your back, of the, uh, the, only the items that are on the back of the mechs do not break one for all. The things that are on your arms do. Oh, and remember, when you are, uh, you know, in the enemy mids and you want to overwatch, remember to get into one for all first. Because until you actually fire that overwatch, one for all is going to provide you with one damage reduction, which is important because it's altogether three damage reduction and minus 40% of damage you take. But uh, once you fire the overwatch, the one for all is going to be break broken. However, you have the very big opportunity, if you are not flanking your enemies, to uh, actually use the one for all as a an offensive tool which doesn't happen every day so uh, next on let's talk about the small items you want the core armoring you want the ceramic platings and most importantly you want the tactical computer that gives you the additional uh, the additional defense so that it's more difficult to hit your unit you get every you want everything that gives you a defense so that it can accumulate itself with the automated threat assessment and that's that so that's, that's the build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, let me know in the comments, like the video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and so on and so forth. And I will see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching and bye bye.